Welcome to my Algebra 2 standard class. I'm sorry that I couldn't be here today. Um, I unfortunately uh, have to be away. I'm at the state golf tournament. I coach the golf team and we are doing well again this year. We qualified for state. Uh, the last three years we've been third place in state. I think this year we have a chance to possibly move up. Um, so we're going to see how it goes, uh, but maybe we can report after I get back. Um, but I did want to tell you a little bit about my family. Um, this is a, a picture of my family. Uh, my wife, Shannon, uh, we met at Wheaton College. That's where I went to school, up near Chicago. I'm from Michigan originally, and she's from Memphis originally. Uh, her parents actually uh, are very well-known uh, pediatricians here in town. Dr. Her, well, her dad is. Dr. Terry Geschke is her dad. Uh, every once in a while, I have some students who actually had him as a, as a pediatrician. Uh, Matt is uh, at 10th grade at ECS, and he is uh, going to be in the school play, or at least the, uh, the St. Mary's school play he's trying out, uh, which would be really good for him because I'm not sure if he's ever talked to girls before, so this will be kind of a new experience for him. Uh, Josh is in seventh grade. He's quite an athlete. Uh, the Chick-fil-A 5K over Labor Day, our whole family ran it, and um, it was the first time he beat me in an athletic event. It's a little depressing for me. Um, I'm not one of those dads who let his kids win on purpose. Maybe some of you uh, do that. I really don't. And so, uh, but it just reminded me that uh, he's on the uphill slope on his athletics, and I'm clearly on my downhill slide. So uh, hopefully I can just kind of stave that off a little while longer. Uh, Caleb is uh, nine years old. He's in, um, he's in third grade. He's incredibly strong, kind of a football player. He's playing the football team, and uh, he can beat my wife in arm wrestling, which is kind of impressive to me. Uh, but that's my family. And it's, it's interesting because I have three boys, and I teach in an all-girls school here at St. Mary's where there's lots of drama. And, um, you know, that's just, I, I get a little taste of what it's like to be a parent of a teenage girl, but I don't have to see them at night. Um, so I, I, but I get a little taste of it here at school. So I want to tell you a little bit about um, my haiku page and what we have available for students there. Uh, we have... Uh, Chapter three, we're already on chapter three with this class. Uh, I, I keep the syllabus updated, so if they need to look up what their homework is or uh, maybe look at their review, uh, that's always online here. I also have uh, notes, so after the class, I'll post uh, notes for the class, and they can download those notes and uh, look at those if they miss class because they're absent. Um, and of course, I always try to be available uh, for students. Um, if they come by, I'm here at seven, <coughs> seven every morning Sorry about that. We have time <clears throat> built in here at St. Mary's for extra homework. Um, so if they want to, um, if they want to get help um, anytime, they can come by at ALAP uh, right after chapel. Uh, I have two off periods they can come by, even lunch. I, I enjoy helping students. Uh, my parents were both math teachers, and I think it's just maybe in my blood. I'm not sure. Uh, but but I enjoy doing that, and I think um, especially with these uh, students, this regs class, as they like to call themselves, um, they need a little extra help sometimes. They don't always get it so easily, or maybe they get it and they sometimes forget it, and they just need to work and need to practice at some things. Uh, this is our calculator we use, the TI Inspire, and it's kind of a, a newfangled calculator, and, and I can send things back and forth wirelessly uh, with my students, and so uh, oftentimes I'll ask them, like, for example, to start the class, I'll say, okay, maybe homework was page 71, so I'll send out a quick poll to them, and they'll respond, and you can see um, what questions were hard for them in the homework. And clearly, um, out of all the homework problems I assigned, um, number 45 and 37 were tough, and also 31. So I may go over those three problems in class. If a student's having trouble with all the homework problems, I always tell them, please come by and see me, because there's probably just something you're doing wrong, we can straighten it out. Um, and get it fixed and, and it'll, it'll be fine. We also do a lot of PSAT prep and so here's a question um, that I send out to them every day we start with a PSAT prep question and it's a great time for them to uh, just get some practice on that. We talk about strategies of solving it, we talk about different ways to solve it and so the students often come up with ways that to solve things that I wouldn't necessarily come up with and so uh, so they'll, they'll share some of those things with the rest of the class. Uh, this is a problem about functions and it's nice because I can uh, find out how the students did in that. So for this particular problem, five people, I've got it right if you're curious. 
I'll show you. Um, sometimes I show this, usually I keep it anonymous, but uh, those students got it right. And it's okay to get it wrong in my class. I think there's an environment that, you know, you can get something wrong as long as you learn from it. So we're, we'll talk about um, how, what they did wrong in a particular question. Um, and sometimes it, it's just very interesting discussions we have, I think, after some of these uh, types of questions. I also am able to, with this device, I'll send out a quick poll. I'll write a question on the board, and then they'll uh, respond to that question and uh, put their answers. And so I can kind of, in the middle of a lesson, kind of gauge how well they're getting it. You can see five out of eight students here have gotten the question right. And so I, I can not just guess at how students are doing, but I can really kind of just check and see that they really are doing well. It's it's. It's all about learning from mistakes. It's all about uh, getting better uh, with things. And so uh, to have a tool like this um, to check answers um, it is very, uh, well, it's, it's great. It's easy to, um, to help out there. And um, zero over five, so we were trying to simplify something there. And sometimes you get some funny responses. But it's a very interactive class that I have um, with the students. Um, I, Again, I think it's just real important. One of the things I want to talk about, a couple things for you it, that you should know is my expectations for homework. So I think this is important for some of, our, some of the girls in this class are not used to this. Um, I expect them to do all the homework problems. Well, they're used to that. But I want them to check them in the back of the book. So they should always check their work. Um, some of them are starting to do this. Some of them are still like pulling teeth, getting them to do this in this particular class. And, uh, but I want them to check their work, and then after they've checked it, they need to make one more attempt at the problem. So don't just give up and say, oh, I can't do it. We can all do math. You know, um, even if it doesn't come easy, um, if you struggle through it, if you work through it, you think through it, and you get help, you can certainly, everybody can do math. With practice and with work, we can all do it. And so that's one of the things. I want the students to have a growth mindset, not a fixed mindset. So I want them to uh, really be willing to work on some things, put forth some effort. Um, we also do things like test corrections. So after I give a test, you can get a third of the points back uh, just by doing test corrections. And this last test, um, not all the students, all, not all eight or nine, not all 11 students um, did test corrections. So I suggest that maybe you ask, hey, did you do test corrections last chapter? Uh, because it's usually a good sign that they're not putting forth their best effort if they're not even doing test corrections. I want them to learn from their mistakes. It's okay to make a mistake, but I want to learn from that mistake. And let's try to you know, fix that in the future. And so um, I think if we do some of those things, um, that, that's really going to help. I'm also available if the students ask for extra help. Uh, sometimes students will come and work on their PSAT skills or ACT skills, and they come in extra and work on those. I'll, I'll give you as many assignments as you want. Um, I saw a student this summer. Um, it was actually a boy from St. Benedict. He kept coming to tutoring. Um, once a week he was coming to tutoring and he kept upping his score. I saw his score start in the early lower 20s and by the end of that he was in the upper he was in the lower 30s. He had improved almost 10 points in one summer just working on PSAT uh, or ACT in his case he was working ACT scores but the idea is that here if you work at it you will get better and you can do very well and so that's what I think we've had a good start for the year with this group they have a good attitude um, and for the most part, they're willing to work. They just need to get their study skills a little bit better. And uh, it just I think we're going to have a really good year with this group, though. I'm going to turn it over to Lacey and Camille, and they can answer any question you post to them, I'm sure.